To kick off March, we are starting the Various Appliances series, uh, which will be done at random times, we'll say, um, just any time. Consisting of small and also large appliances, and just be very many short clips compiled together. So, keep yourselves tuned in, watch in HD, because you are watching Florence Ballad A3060. The channel made in loving memory of the original Supreme Florence Ballad and Hoover's first 1100 RPM washing machine, the A3060 Electronic 1100. Okay guys, just a small intro uh, to this new series we're starting. I did mention it in my previous Lost and Found from the Vaults uh, video that I did of the Hoover Silent Pulse and Versa washing machine. Uh, that I'll be starting this new sort of fun series called Various Appliances. Um, they'll all have a number, so various. this one's Various Appliances 1, then the next one that comes out, Various Appliances 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Um, there's no set schedule to when it comes out, it just comes out whenever. Uh, basically what it is, it's not just small appliances, it's any appliances um, which can include washing machines as well as dishwashers, you know, cookers, well, I don't know if I'd ever do fridge freezer videos, but maybe if I found one, I can. And like small things like heaters, fans, and irons, because I don't really like doing the whole thing with the irons anymore. You know, where it's a, a full video focused on an iron. I don't really think many people watch it, and to be honest, even I kind of get bored doing the same sort of thing over and over again. Uh, so this is basically, you know how I operate on the rule of if my videos aren't 10 minutes long, they pretty much get thrown into the vaults and ready to be uploaded whenever I get around to that date in due time. Well, I don't want things to be waiting like a year or two before I actually get around to the stuff from this year. Because um, I'm going to get my hard drive prepared soon. I'm trying to dig out some very old videos I did on this, like, that was meant to be on the channel. So, things like fan heaters... Um, say if I filmed a gas cooker or something, excuse that. Um, uh, anything else, like, I mean, hair dryers, I have our own videos for, because we do the comparison of how it dries, you know, what how long it takes to dry my hair. But fans, you know, desk fans, I can't really spend 10 minutes filming like a fan heater, because pretty much the overview and that, and the function is about five minutes probably. Because uh, all I'll be doing is I'll be timing how long it takes me to be sort of, like, so let's say I'm in my sitting room because it's the biggest room in the house. So I would start it, um, for example, on my, I would start it over by where the camera is now and I'd stand right by the door. And I would time how long it takes for me to feel the heat coming, and I would face it that way. So I would see how long it takes for me to feel the heat over on that side of the, um, of the room. And I can figure out which heaters do the best. Um, and then stuff like dry irons, I've got a couple of irons that have got travel ones to do. So I combine it into this and it basically will make a video of about 15 minutes long. But it will be, as it says, various appliances. Or say, for example, I've been to a relative's house and I've just seen their washing machine on like a rinse cycle. And we haven't had time to stay behind and film a spin. So I might have like a, five, uh, like a two minute clip of the machine rinsing. This will be added to it. Um, it'll just say what appliance it is. Obviously, I'll explain briefly though beforehand what you know to quickly sell. This is like, for example, a Hot Point Aquarius WD6 extra WD64 washer dryer, or something like that. Just doing well. If it was a WD64, I'd be sat there filming the whole cycle. But if it's something I don't know, they might have an Indusun. I might think I'll quickly take a video of it. Um, so I hope you uh, will enjoy this as much as I am. Uh, and basically, yeah, this can be. It may be filmed over like a various. Maybe set of days it could be, um, but if not, um, as I said, it, there could be another one coming out tomorrow. As you know, there's no British Art Foundation this, this Saturday because I am going to crew. Remember I said about my uncle, it was actually rescheduled for this week. Um, yeah, just, just just for other circumstances, nothing serious, just, you know, wasn't, yeah, there's a better idea. I don't know about the travelling, there might not be a driving lesson tomorrow, so if there isn't, I may... May do some industrial heating filming. Might go to some warehouses and see if we can find just like loads of fans on the ceiling or whatnot. We'll see if we can do that. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited to do this. And no, I tell you what, I tell you what. If there isn't driving lessons tomorrow, I may go to British Art Foundation and I'll say, well, I have I've got a day off today of driving, but I have to see because the transport might be cancelled as well. It's really bad the snow here. Anyway, 
I'll shut up now. Let's get on with it. So, the first appliance to kick the series off with here is a vintage 1970s Sector model SF3 fan heater. Uh, this was picked up at British Heart Foundation in January 2017, just shortly before going to Australia. <clears throat> um, I picked this up. Um, it was in. There was a bundle of appliances that all came in and whatnot, so I, you know, was getting through them and I saw this because I needed a fan heater for my bedroom because I had a cold at, that, cold at that time. Well, yeah, sort of cold flu. Um, so I found this and I picked it up. I never heard of this brand sector. There's your elements in there, you've got quite a few. It's a little bit obviously cracked here and there, as you can see there from age. Um, and our fan is a centrifugal blower fan or squirrel cage fan. This appliance being a 1970s one, it didn't actually come with an official plug. That is one taken off an old extension lead I had, and it's a it's an MK plug for those who like looking at plugs. So I put that on myself. It works a treat. Um, We'll have a look around the side here. So, <clears throat> over here are your heat settings. So, that's fan, fan only function. This is for engaging one element. It just engages the front there. This is if you want it on high heat. You flip for, for two. I tend to just have it on one because that's powerful enough. So you can see here, yes, unfortunately it is a bit broken. Um, look around the back here, you can see the, it's got it's quite a powerful fan that is, it looks a little bit out of, you know, like a bit off centre there. No, unfortunately, no thing for mounting it on the wall, would have been nice to have had that on there. I can't figure out the date or anything, anyone can see that. I thought maybe that meant 1970, um, but I did look on eBay and found that it said this was 1970. Makes a bit of a rattle when it comes on, but it does the trick. It's got a very, as you can see, it's not, when it sits on the floor, it projects heat upwards. So it sort of does cover the room a bit better than any of my others. It has got quite a fierce heat setting. Um, I haven't used this in a while, so when I switch that on, it is gonna smell of burning. I do like that smell though. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'll, power it up and see how it heats up the room. I might just power it up for the video. Um, seeing as it's freezing cold day, we've got that Storm Emma. You can just see on the TV there. I've got that going on because I can see, oh look, Jet 2. Corey Mortimer, if you've just seen that, that's for you. Because I know you like them. Southeastern trains and whatnot. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on here. So perfect time to get heaters out. Right, without further ado, I'm gonna get it plugged in. Got my extent, trust extension lead here. So this does not have an on-off switch. As soon as I plug that in, it is basically gonna come on. So I see. You might hear that. So that's blowing. Takes an air from the back. Well, so that's cold air at the front. Now, if I flick, if I flick that on. Now you'll probably see the elements glow red. Sometimes the lights will dim in the house, and that's and oh, blimey! I can smell that. It smells nice, actually. You might see the front elements beginning to glow red. Hang on. If I switch the light off, you'll see it. Uh, switch the main light off see it a little bit better there. You can just see there, it's glowing red. Now I can already feel the heat. I don't know if you can feel it blowing on here, so I will just say you need to just keep the volume down. Now that's projected. If I sit there, I can't feel it. I have to be up there. It's about a 45 degree angle from it. It's doing quite well though. It doesn't need any air intake from the bottom. It takes it all from the back. Now you can see that I just did that. I don't know if you can see that. It just glowed. Um, 
now I'm gonna put it I never put it on this setting too because of the amount of electricity it'll use but I just saw the lights dim a little bit this now is fierce heat <coughs> oh god blimey that is hot look at that oh hang on that might be dangerous you can see that the elements are sort of flickering with it. Don't worry, it looks like fire, but it's not. I think you can see the heat wave coming from it. But that is like strong heat. I mean, I'm stood about two meters from it and I can feel that from here. And then of course, flick them both off. How quickly it dissipates that heat. Now, I'm gonna show you what happens when I switch it off. I have to unplug. Takes a little bit to stop. There you are. And that's the Sector SS3 fan heater. Second appliance, another fan heater. This is a 1980s model, I think this is, from what I looked up. It's made by Belling, and it's a model Tango 2. Uh, I have no idea on the model number. It doesn't say anything about it on the bottom. Um, this is yet another recovery from British Heart Foundation. Um, I actually pulled this one out of the cage because it was left there and I saw it and I was like, what's wrong with it? Turns out there wasn't anything wrong with it. It works perfectly. It's just very dusty. So I can't remember what I vacuumed it out with again. Um, but yeah, I gave it a vacuum out and it, it came up really nice. So yeah, it's got like a nice sort of wood finish to it. Well, it's actually metal, but it's made to look like wood. As you can hear that. It doesn't sit very stable because it sits on four little things like that. Now, this can actually come off, but it's I think it's held in place by, yeah. But it has been dropped a little bit because it was thrown in the cage. Um, it's the same as the Sector one. You have your centrifugal blower fan there. So that's suspended in that. I can actually remove that and have it running with the cover off. Um, it doesn't produce as much heat as the sector one does. But it's the same basic layout in a way. You've got all your elements there. This, however, projects on a straight plane. It doesn't point up like the other one. So you get the heat very close to the floor here. It means you kind of lose the heat here. I don't think there's an attachment for ball mounting either your cables fixed here yeah this is the rating sticker i don't know on there serial, serial number 058022 so i don't know if it could be nice in, i don't know was it i don't know i don't know what, how you do that may 1980 maybe i don't know but it's made by belling and co in enfield oh, that's in north london that is obviously do not cover is your standard warning on all heaters Gonna get that fired up uh, in a bit. And that's probably gonna smell <laughs> really strong. Here are your heat settings. At the moment it's set to fan only function. In low heat, which engages the, obviously, I think it's the lower elements. And then your high heat. But the, that's basically all, all elements that'll be. And then your fan only function works the same way Power applied, it doesn't um, come on, it comes on straight away. There's no on and off switch. And your plug, I'm not entirely sure this is the original plug. You can tell because the wires are exposed inside. Nothing wrong with that though at the moment. Very small plug it's got compared to others. BS1363, made in, yeah, Pat's approval, I don't know. If you can get anything by a plug, maybe plug in, you know, ele ele electri electricians out there watching this. So we'll get her and plug her in, and um, we'll see how she works. So she's going to be on fan only function at the start. And let's have a look. Zoom in, we can get a nice better view. Here we go. Bit of a rattle there. Very smooth, unlike the sector, 
not much vibration at all. The sector tends to vibrate and it has to sit on top of a stool with a memory foam pillow underneath. Otherwise it transmits vibration through the floor if I use it. Okay, now for the fun part. Um, what I'm going to do is I will, after zooming from, an, from a far distance, because otherwise, and I'm going to switch the main light off so you can see the elements glowing. Nice colour though. It's got like a mahogany finish to it. There we go. First. That is going to smell bad, I think. There we go. I can't see any elements glowing yet. God, blimey, I can smell that. Better be careful not to smell. Ah. It's still quite cool over here though, the heat. The heat is actually not, it's not, it's only strong there and then about there, about a quarter of a meter in front of it, it actually cools down. All right. Elements look like they're trying to glow. But anyway, you might have seen a bit of dust blow out of that there. Here it goes, full heat. It actually increases, can you hear that? It's increasing the speed of the fan. Oh my God, that smells like burnt pizza. That's what it smells like. God, that's like going into takeoff that is. Because it has to blow faster. I'm scared it's gonna blow up. Shit. Elements aren't glowing red though. But it's got, now it's got strong heat. And I'll instantly put it down. But I just give it a cool blow at the end. If I come a bit closer, I'll do that again, what I just did. You may hear the fan. And now for the switch off. That takes quite a while to stop that, that's still rolling. There you go. The room smells like burnt bread now it does. I quite like that smell. Okay, the next appliance. You may remember this. Another British Heart Foundation Test and Finds video this was in. It's a Cloytron Purity model E194 dry iron. Um, very, very lightweight. Look, I can pick, it up, pick her up on my pinky. Can't do that on many of my irons. See, smooth. Aging shown there. It actually had a label here saying fail do not use and I've stuck it on the wall and took the iron with me. I like this iron. I've never I don't really have many dry irons. It looked quite nice. I thought you know what I'll take it for my collection. As you know, it's certainly a dry iron I wouldn't do a solo video for because there's no steam or anything. So I'm just gonna play around with this towel here. I purposely made this towel look very, very creased. So just gonna see how this thing copes with it. And then I'm gonna wet this and see how she dries it. And look what I'm watching a documentary on. Concord. Oh, I tell you, I got really emotional watching it. Oh my God, look at that. That's beautiful. So, I'm getting distracted. You might hear a creaking a bit. Look at that. Yep, dry, it's very smooth. 
Mmm, bit of a fabric, sort of burning smell. heats up basically as it goes around. Look at the precision tip, though. that's really good for a dry iron. That's pretty good heat that is. I'm going to use this towel for a few other uh, tests I'm going to do. I'll probably get a different towel for that. That was really creased when I used it. That's not too vicious heat, which is good. Okay, let's give that a wet, give, wet that a bit and see what happens. So I've wet that and we're going to see what happens. Wow. Because compared to a normal steam iron, I want to see... Oh, the canarsi crying there. That's really good. Pretty good, that is, yeah. It's done pretty good, that is. If I just hold it on there and see what happens. That's soaking water, by the way. Let's just let's see if there's any coming off. Look at that, you might be able to see the steam coming off that. Look at that. There she is. Waiting her tub uh, seal. Don't know when that's coming. That's done pretty good, the iron. Let's get her switched off. Good thing it's nice and light. It's got a ceramic sole plate. That'll go them very quickly. Alright guys, so the last appliance to be featured in this video of various appliances is our kettle. This is a Russell Hobbs, uh, I don't think it's got a name on it or anything, no, Russell Hobbs 20446 kettle in a sort of cream colour. I'm going to be heating up, boiling some water for my hot water bottle because I'm trying to reduce using the electric blanket now and because it's March, got a bit of spring coming so let's get this going. So it's filled up with water, enough just for about four and a half, that's about how much cups go into this hot water bottle. So flick it on here, it's plugged in, you've got the base in, it's plugged into one of these blocks here. Mum insisted we get colour matching ones. So you flick that, light comes on, and you're going to hear it. I will do a video of the microwaves. When this is running, uh, you can normally hear it all over the house. You see how London is affected by line scale there. That's some of our fridge here as well. And the old breath thing. A36, oh yeah, I will be filming that soon as well. Just got that in the post today. 
new one. I will also film that soon, do that. get a little bit, it will take a little bit longer because there's a lot more in there to boil. But it's not as loud as any of the other kettles we've had. Let's see, feel a bit of heat, yeah. I won't feature me pouring it in there because I won't be able to hold the camera plus to do that. There we go, get ready for it guys. I don't know if there's any steam coming off it yet. reaching the boil zone in a second though. Unfortunately, it's been hitting under the cupboard for the past like years. And then, of course, I let it calm down a bit. So, guys, that's the end of um, the various appliances for the moment. Uh, and then, of course, during the next weeks, I'll gather up some more appliances. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if next week I get another video to do. As I said, there's no set time when it comes out. It's just when I can find some appliances to film. I definitely will do the microwave and that chocolate fondue or chocolate fountain. And I'll even do our toaster, which is exactly, it's the same to match this. Um, I might even film our gas cooker at some point. Um, yeah, there's, there's loads of things. Boiler, got air, it's just anything. It's short clips of everything compiled together. So guys, thank you very much for watching that. And Jess, I'm sorry this has taken so long to upload. It's been a lot of changes in my life going on. Something pretty good has happened, but I'm not going to reveal anything about that. Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.